Hey, it's Valletta. Hi, it's Michelle. And welcome to The Wind Down from The Wind Down TV. We are two girlfriends that are not sommeliers that got together to decide it and decided. You heard that? And decided. To decide it. To decide it. And decided. And decided to decide. We all decided. We all decided. <laughs> to learn about wine together. So I was about to say we're not sommeliers and teachers again. Boy, listen, we didn't even start the episode yet. B, what are we drinking today? Oh, so today we are drinking Underwood Pinot oh. Gris. This is our first can wine that we'll be trying in on the show. It's absolutely, I'm excited because that's so Me different. Too. You know, it's like usually you don't think of wine in a can, except they've been doing it for the last, like what, year and a half, maybe two that I've been seeing it. Okay. I How feel like you? I actually haven't, to be honest, really paid attention to the cans. Okay. Okay. Like, I do remember seeing like like box some box stuff. I've seen right. some like canister stuff, but I I um uh I'm not familiar with how long the cans have been out. Okay, and so I you know. Okay, so today we're going to be tasting, like I said, the Pinot Grigio, and it is the Italian name for Pinot Gris, a white mutation of the Pinot family. It shares a genetic fingerprint with Pinot Noir, Pinot Blanc, and several other varieties. It's a white wine with high acidity, characteristics of lemon, green apple, and blossoms. Oh, nice. Well, well, just blossoms. Cherry blossoms, blossoms, orange blossoms, what kind like, of blossoms? Like flower blossoms. Oh, okay, okay. Flower right. blossoms. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Blossoms. I wonder how they get all this like floral stuff into the wine, because that's the that's the description that we we come across a lot, right? Exactly. And I'm, and I'm like, ah, oh, how they get that in there? Like, how is it floral? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I've yeah. never personally drank flowers, so I don't know what that's supposed to taste like. But, but you know, man. it's almost like when you pass by a flower bed, when you you when you smell, you you know, it's specific when you pass by. It's like, oh my god, okay, you can smell roses, and it just it you know that roses, yeah. no, you know, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's very distinct, right? Mm -hmm. hmm. oh, it's good. What do you think? Well, while you're doing that, that thinking, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the region. Oh, you just completely ignored oh me when God. I said, "What do you oh, think?" No, no, I because I hadn't tasted it. Oh, I thought you tasted it. No, okay. I had not. Oh, oh. surprising! Oh, I thought I was just so used to you ignoring me. I thought that's what you were doing no. again. Okay, no. So, Underwood hails from Willamette Valley in Oregon, so it's an Oregon wine. We love to okay. support. This is our first um, Oregon wine as well. It is, yeah. And then also Pinot Noir too, but this mm -hmm. is our first. So let's, ooh, I like that. Mm. Um, and some of Oregon's original Pinot Gris uh, vines have been in, have been planted there for more than 35 years, making it the longest in any of the new world. Uh, along with its production techniques and superior growing conditions, Oregon Pinot Gris have earned international recognition. The grape actually prefers Oregon's um, marginal climate, and that means the grape can achieve maximum varietal flavor in Oregon by ripening slowly and reaching its full maturity at the end of the growing season instead of being rushed to grow okay. in certain climates, you know? Okay. So a little backstory. Mm -hmm. So like you said before, Pinot Gris okay. and Pinot Grigio are the exact same grape variety. Um, it originated in France and from the Burgundian Pinot family, which is what you also said. And it's known as Pinot Gris in France and Pinot Grigio in, in Italy. So, okay. um, but it was the Italians that brought it forward to the forefront and made it like this big thing, like, you know, introduced it to the global market. So while they're the same grape, the difference is the style in which they're made. So Italian Pinot Grigio wines are typically light body, crisp, fresh, vibrant stone fruit and floral aromas with a touch of spice while the French Pinot Gris, which 
which is made mostly in Alsace. Um, they're more full-bodied, uh, richer, spicier, and they tend to be great for aging potential. So Oregon Pinot Gris in many ways combine, so they take a little bit of how the Italians do it, a little bit of how mm -hmm. the French do it, and they create their own version of the Pinot Gris. So the fun fact is the Pinot Gris is the most natural and popular mutation of its ancestor, the Pinot Noir, with records showing the grape being grown in Burgundy for the, at least the last 800 years. Really? So it's been around, yeah. Michelle, this has like, wow, some definite legs on it. Legs? Are they sexy legs? Yeah. What kind of legs? Oh, like? definitely. Like I see some. You maybe know, medium, medium, maybe medium to long finish for me. I was going to say medium bodied for me, medium, yeah. medium body, because it's, again, it's not like this light. It's, I, I have a little it, bit of. It's not light, but I'll tell you this. What I'm getting is I taste it, it goes away, but it lasts. It starts to dissipate a little bit at a time. So I guess mm -hmm. that's a long. Finish, finish. I think more is that considered medium to long. Medium to long, right? Medium to yeah. long because yeah. it's not like a short finish. I still taste mm -hmm. it on the back. Mm -hmm. I still mm -hmm. taste I taste it in the middle and I taste it on the back, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But this is interesting trying the trying a can wine, which is definitely better than I thought. Actually I didn't know what to expect. What did you expect? I went in with reservations because I'm such a bottle or world girl. Right. So I I'm on the, I'm always cork first. Right. And then lately I've gone into the twist off. Mm -hmm. And then I've gradually done a little like I have to be open minded. Because it okay. you know why can come because here's the thing. People like convenience and they like things to be easy. So right. The fact that there are cans now and, and there have been boxes and pouches, and pouches. And yeah. people just like to grab and go. So, right. But I, I think I my mind has to just open up a little bit more. But I think it's delicious for being right. a canned wine. I would definitely right. have it again. And right. I, could, I could see this being uh, I, I, I was yeah. just about to say that. So definitely on the beach, taking yeah. it. I mean, yes. I mean, it's just it's yes. easy. It's like, I mean, yeah. really, really good. Get like, you a cooler, put some ice, exactly. throw a couple of cans in there. Exactly. It's just, so I would definitely do this again. Yeah. And actually, I'll test it out and go to a park one day and have a picnic and see. Oh, so we'll be waiting to see those pictures in our comment section. Well, if they don't happen before the end of summer, you will be waiting until next year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, well, I don't come out. I'll, I'll leave the house September to May, girl. You know, I'd be in the house. <laughs> that well, I'll have to do it out here in California so we can yes. put that up and try it. So that's okay. Mm -hmm. We can do it together. We can do like a phone call and do it together. I would love that. We'll have nice. a picnic together. What about that? So, what are we going to take at our picnic for food? We should call Chef and find out. Oh, yeah, because I don't know. See, this, I think I, I would, I need food with this to me because Great. it's medium to, it's, it's, it's uh, medium to me body. So. Light bodied, I can just without. I got some um, like citrus. I don't know if it's like guava a little bit. I don't know, guava, uh -huh. a little. Oh, did you? I haven't gotten yeah, that. like a little guava, a little, little, little tropical fruit in there somewhere. Wow. Well, wine is subjective, so I, I, I'm wow. so Wow. That's so true, but the way you just said that, though, that's true. <laughs> but the way you just said that was like, really? With the tropical fruit? No. Like, no. No. You, I, no. Stop. No. I heard you. I was I, not. I, I, no. Yes, you did. I was just saying, you were talking about me with the green You're apple. being nice. You're being uh, nice. You just came up with the, well, you know, wine is subjective. Ah. <laughs> so, she got me what with talking those, about. Uh, she got me with those green apples, y'all, so... Mm -hmm. Hey, Jack. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's call our boy and find out what he says. Wow. But tell him, let's tell him what we're doing and see what he what he comes up with. Okay. All right. Hello. Hey, hey Jack. Jack. Hey, girls. What are you up to today? We're drinking a little Underwood. Um, Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris. 
Yeah. And Valetta and I were talking about, because I told her, you know, I go into hibernation once the weather dips down. So we were talking about having a picnic together, uh, you know, on both coasts. And we were wondering what we could take with us to as food for the picnic. Uh, take a couple salads. I would do a okay. water, watermelon, avocado, hearts of palm. Mm. Generous squeeze nice. of lime. That'll pack and you can hold that. Okay. Um, and then maybe I would do like a, like a seaweed, uh, like a seafood type of salad. You know, like Ooh. marinated uh, calamari, cooked mussels, maybe some avocado, lots and lots of lemon. Ooh. Wow. Mm. I love avocado. Keep talking. Me too. <laughs> that sounds good. I yeah. love that drive up the Hudson. I, I mean, I just I haven't done that yet. Um, oh my God, it's amazing. Yeah. I, mean, I have to do that. I need to to do more. Um, to do more. Yeah, day little trips. day trips. Yeah, because yeah. it's yeah. yeah day trips. You don't have to go and stay in a hotel. Just get away, take a drive, just look at the beauty. And it's coming up to fall there. I mean, yeah. just, the leaves are going to start to turn. Oh, that's what I miss about being on the East Coast. The colors. I don't. Of you can have it. I don't care about the leaves oh. turn, girl, because I know right after the leaves uh, turn, it's gonna be freezing. So <laughs> I know. Yeah. But that beauty of the yellows and the reds, the trees, are, it's just, and it's usually that the Indian summer. It's just beautiful. Yeah, that's what Google's for. <laughs> Fall leaves. Okay, good. It's great. Beautiful. That's all I need. I don't actually need to see the person, but I get where you're going. Yeah, I miss it, and it's beautiful. So. Again, it'll take that trip. I will. I'll do it. Yes, mom. So <laughs> thank you guys for joining us. Remember to always drink responsibly. And follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. We'll list all of that information at the bottom in our comment section. And remember to laugh, love, travel, and take good care of yourself. And drink lots of good wine while you do it. Cheers <laughs> to we drink together again. Honey. Cheers. Cheers, love. <laughs>